Hey guys, welcome to Zero Decoder. In this video, we are going to learn that how to add app icon and splash screen in your React Native app. Okay, so first of all, the icon which you have to use, the icon size, the maximum should be 1024 into the 1024. It means that the height and the width of the app icon, the maximum will be 1024. So I have already generated the app icon. Let me show you guys quickly. So in the inside the downloads, we have a app icon. I created this icon. And if I show you the property of this icon, so the height and the width is 1024 pixels. Okay. Now, as you can see that in the Android, we have to use a different like different kind of icons, rounded and so on. So for that, what I'm gonna do, I'm going to use an one website called Icon Kitchen, which is going to generate a different kind of icon, like rounded icon, square icon, and so on. Okay. So we have to click on this. Uh, we have an option called Clip Art Text Image. So currently we are going to generate uh, the app icon using the image, our logo. So I'm just going to create, uh, click on the background as the image and I'm going to select the image, this app icon. Okay. Now as you can see that we are able to see this app icon. Now uh, we can like, uh, like while using the icon kitchen, it, it helps us to understand like how, how does app icon gonna look like in a real device. That's why we are using icon kitchen. After that, uh, after replacing the app icon, okay. You, if you want, like you can use also splash screen, whatever you want. But uh, I'm just using this uh, image. After that, you have to click on download. It will download the icon kitchen. So let me open that. Okay. So as you can see that this is the file which we have downloaded. So after that, we have to extract this. Okay. So I'm going to extract files here. And let me extract the quickly. So after extracting that, you can see that there's a tree directory Android, iOS, and Wave. And we are just uh, using this for the Android. We have to click on Android. We have to go inside the test directory. And if you open in directory, we have like, you know, different kind of icon. It's in, like it's a rounded icon and the square icon so on. Okay. Now after that, what do you have to do? You have to go in your project. So this is the, my project. As you can see that this is the e-commerce uh, app, which uh, this is the e-commerce project, which we are working on. Okay. Now what we have to do? Uh, to update this uh, app icon from Android icon to the our new icon, we have to go inside the Android. Inside the Android, we have a directory called app. Inside the app, we have a source. Inside the source, we have to click go on the main. Inside the main, we have to go on the rest. Okay. Inside the rest, we have to open this of uh, directory using the reveal, find, and explorer. So let me open this directory. Okay. Now, as you can see, that we are inside this directory. Okay. Now after that, what you have to do? Uh, this, this is the uh, icon. This is the file which we had downloaded right now from the icon kitchen. So we had downloaded this folder, right? So what we have to do? You have to just copy this, and you have to, you know, just copy this, uh, copy, and you have to just paste that, okay? And replace this file all the destination, okay? After that, you are good to go, okay? Now if I again build my app. So you will be able to see that our app icon is updated. Okay, let me summarize it again quickly for you guys. So what we have to do, we have to go inside the Android. Inside the Android, we have a called app directory. And inside this app, we have to go inside the source. And inside source, we have to go in the main. And inside the main, we have called rest directory. And we have to open this file in the, uh, this folder in the file explorer. And we have to just copy paste all that icon, okay? Now, as you can see that now the app icon is get updated with the new app icon. Okay. So this is how we update. Uh, this is how we add our app icon. Now let's learn how we can add a splash screen in our react native app to add the splash screen. What we have to do, we have to generate a splash screen image of 4096 into 4096 pixel image. Okay. So I had already generated one splash screen image. So let me show you guys quickly. So this is the. Uh, splash screen which I has generated uh, the details are here like 4096 this is the maximum uh, max height and width of the splash screen okay now after that we are going to use a one tool called app app attack tool you have to just click on this link I will provide this notion link as well so you can use it and for the reference okay now after that what you have to click on you have to choose the splash screen image or so I'm going to select that okay after that uh, you can see that uh, we have selected that splash 
we have to click on show preview so we can see that and we are going to generate this flash screen for the android so you have to select that and after that you have to click on capo okay so it will generate the splash screen for all the devices so let's wait for some time it will processing that okay now you can see that it is generated the splash screen for a different uh, devices like xdpi and so on okay now after that you have to click on download gif okay so it will download the zip file okay so after that uh, there is one more thing which we have to do uh, we have to install a package called react native splash screen so we have to copy this command okay and it stop the our emulator and we have to just paste this command npm i react native splash screen it will install this package okay now after installing the package what we have to do we have to go inside the android app source main java com project name and inside the main activity dot kt so let's go on this directory so we have to go inside uh, android app source main okay after that java and we have to open this main activity dot kt file okay now uh, this is the two line of the code uh, os bundle and this press screen you have to just copy that and you have to just uh, paste this line on the above on the line number two and the, okay so after this uh, after this your project name you have to just paste that uh, that two line okay now after that what you have to do you have to again copy this code okay this override function so if you just click on copy just copy this and if you just scroll down if you just scroll down so you can see this is the override fun and you can see that your app name after the your app name you have to just paste this line okay nothing you have to do okay now after pasting this uh, things what we have to do we have to do another thing as well uh, the another thing is that uh, let me do that quickly so this is the uh, you know uh, splash screen which we have generated so we have to extract the files so let me extract that okay after extracting this we have to go inside the bundle inside the android we can see that all the files right now you have to go inside the android again app source main resolution res and you have to open this file in a file explorer after that opening this directory in the file explorer you have to just copy this all the folder all the file copy and you have to paste inside this res directory paste it there okay now you can see that we have just all the splash screen okay now after that uh, what you have to do you have to create one folder name is a after that you have to create one folder uh, a directory name is a layout so let's create a layout directory as you can see that here i have written this so let's copy this so the the layout directory should be inside the this directory so let's create a layout directory uh, okay so let me create this layout directory quickly uh, layout layout okay now you can see that we had created one directory called layout inside this layout directory we have to create one file called launch screen.xml as you can see that so let me just copy this name and paste it here okay now after that uh, after creating this file what we have to do you have to just copy this uh, code and you have to enter it okay now after that you have to start the server npm start it will gonna took some time because the app gonna build okay so let's press the a and let's wait for tem some time before that if you see this app so here we are defining the and white background okay so the background is used to define the what background is going to be okay and you can see that in the inside the image view uh, inside the image view we are getting the image from the draw we are reading the drawable all the image so you can see that all the image name is, is a screen and we are reading that image as well okay now you can see that we are able to see our splash screen okay and if you can if you want to change the f a color the background color you can change the background color as well whatever you want okay but you can see that there is one case that the splash screen is visible but it's not a uh, closing how we can close that splash screen so we have to go inside this app.jsx okay and we have to call use effect inside the use effect hook what you have to do you have to call a uh, splash screen you have to import the splash screen from the react native splash screen 
and you have to call one method called splash screen dot hide. So whenever the app get load, it will call this function, okay, and it will close the, uh, it will hide the splash screen. And if I reload this, okay, now let's see thoroughly. So this is how we have added the app icon, and if I click on this, now we can see that our splash screen. Awesome. So this is how we can add a splash screen. Let's summarize this stuff with thoroughly. First. To add the app icon, we had generated the app icon image 1024 into 1024. We went to the icon kitchen. We had downloaded the file, all the file. Okay. After that, we got, we went to the Android. Inside the Android directory, app. Inside app, we went to the source. Inside source, we have a main directory, and inside the main, we went to the rest, and we had just pasted that all the files which we had downloaded from the icon kitchen. Okay. Now after that, uh. This is how we had generated. Uh, we this is how we had added the app icon. Now to set up the splash screen, first we had installed this uh, splash screen uh, package. Okay, and uh, this is the app tool icon which we are using to generate the splash screen for our different screen sizes. We have already generated one uh, splash screen of the size of 4096 into 4096 pixel. Okay. And after that, what we had done, we had just copied that all the file which we had generated from the app tag, and we had just pasted there. Okay. Now after that, what we had done, we went to the Android app source inside the main activity dot kt. We had copied this line. So if I show you quickly, we went to the Android app source main inside the main activity dot kt. We had just pasted this two line: import Android OS dot bundle and import org debut dot splash screen. Okay. Now after that, uh, we had copied this line uh, override fun on create. Okay, and we had paste this line after this uh, after this the app name after this app name. So so get main component function after the get main component function name we had just uh, paste this uh, function. Okay. Now after that, uh, what we had done we had created one uh, directory name as a layout. The layout directory which we had crea created inside the rest directory so as you can see that we had created one directory called layout inside that we had created one file called launch screen.xml and inside that we had just copied this whole command and just pasted there so what is happening here if i quickly explain you guys so we are making center the image we are like you know doing the image in the center and we are defining the background color of the image and there is some uh, you know source of the image view and so on is happening okay so this is how we can add a uh, app icon uh, as you can see that this is how we can add app icon and splash screen in your react native so for this i will send you this you know this uh, notion url so you can you know uh, you can read it and you can follow this and you can implement the uh, app icon in this splash screen so if you guys facing any issue while implementing this app icon is splash screen please let me in the comment section and in the next video what we're gonna do we are going to learn how to deploy or how to publish your app on google google play store so yeah that's all guys see you in the guys in the next video thank you bye